Welcome back to OneStopTutorials.com. Alibaba here once again, sitting in mosquito heaven in Thailand. These mosquitoes, I'm telling you, they just they just love my blood. Okay, anyway, back to Adobe Photoshop. What we're doing in this tutorial is we're going to be removing background with lots of hair. Now this drives people mad in um, Photoshop, trying to remove, I mean, coming around, all this hair around here, it's a nightmare. Well, using the background eraser tool is, makes life a little bit easier. So let's get straight into it. First things I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove some of this white, okay? Now, I'm going to put this picture on my website onestoptutorials.com okay and there'll be to the right over here somewhere there'll be a link to YouTube and you'll be able to find the link to my website and you'll be able to download this picture and try it out for yourselves okay and if you use this picture then quite simply make sure that the layer is unlocked if it's not there'll be a little padlock and if there is a padlock just double left click on the layer a little box will come up press OK and it should look like mine okay Right, with the layer selected, obviously, because it's the only one, we're then going to delete with the delete eraser tool. We're going to delete some of this white because there's just too much white and we want to make our lives a little bit easier. And I'm going to come around here. Don't delete any of the hair. We're just coming around, deleting some of the white. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Stick some, uh, stick some Paul McCartney on or a bit of bit of Bob Marley <laughs> right okay that's enough of that right next thing we want to do is we want to add a new layer okay so come down here click new layer and I want to move this layer to the bottom of the layer one okay then at the bottom with it at the bottom I'm gonna choose this icon adjustments I'm gonna left click on that choose solid color and the color will come up and I want to choose quite a dark color um, something yeah, that'll be fine it's just so I can see if the white bits have left or not okay so let's attack this hair let's get rid of all that white and make it whatever color we want you know so what we need to do is go back to the background eraser tool which is here underneath the eraser tool and I have my options set at the top here like this I have a brush which is 70 it could be a bit smaller up to you 50 soft edge okay I have sample once which is the middle eyedropper then my limits is discontinuous I have a tolerance of 50 and I have protect foreground color checked off okay so that's my settings and what we're going to simply do is click on a white bit left click on a white bit and keeping your left mouse button held down we're going to go around the whole head okay so clicking on the white bit I'm coming in and I'm just holding down the mouse and we're as we're sampling once so it's basically sampling the purpley blue color that we have here okay it means that we can't really get into the hair that much okay um, let's just come up here just following the whites around trying to keep to the whites you've got a bit of freedom I've got to be a bit careful down here because this is her her dress it's actually white so it's going to pick it up but for this tutorial we're mainly just focusing on the hair this isn't for making her look gorgeous okay so as you can see we've managed to take out most of the whites and we have this little white edging around the edge of the hair okay now if we were to change the color and uh, let me move this so you can see both okay if I was to make this a lighter color you would see that uh, we could probably get away with that you know we could probably get away with with a lighter color you wouldn't see that white edging and you could do whatever you want add a picture blah de blah de blah okay so the light colors it works good but what if we're in the dark colors okay dark colors it has that whiteness around the side okay any dark color we come to you'll see you can still see that white edges okay so the way I do it is now we got rid of most of the white background the way I do it is I come in with the burn tool okay which is here the burn tool it's the little hand pinching his fingers or whatever he's doing now with the little layer with the layer selected the woman layer we're simply with the mid-tone selected exposure a hundred percent we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna darken up these edges okay just gonna darken them up 
try to get rid of some of that white okay um, didn't delete very well around here but like I say I'm just trying to show you how to delete the hair I'm in fact I'm going to do some more tutorials on deleting because it's probably a lot of people use Photoshop for that actual reason is editing images and deleting and, and stuff like that so okay so that's about okay okay I don't want to go too mad with it and like I say I'm I'm really quite rushing in this tutorial because I want to keep this under 10 minutes even though it probably won't be that so you can see that we sort of managed to take out the white bits meaning that if we come on some more dark colors now I don't know you'll notice that can you see you'll notice that the edges don't have that whiteness that they did before let's come up some blues some pinks and we can just come into these colors and even with the lighter one selected I can come through lots of different colors and the whiteness of the hair is okay so that's how I do it um, like I say this probably works a lot easier on just a white background because we we did sample once and if there was other colors it would probably cause a bit of a problemo but yep I just quickly wanted to show you how I do it just a white background very simple uh, as we're using the um, sample once it basically just sampled that purpley blue and as we went around the head we went around very freely and if you go to my website download the picture and use this one it's good practice you can um, just get used to this and then try it on some other projects if not just go to Google type in whatever and you'll get whatever so that's it for me today um, I think I think we're gonna do a couple more on background next trying to you know find different methods of deleting backgrounds using selections using quick mask I mean there's so many different ways it really depends on what picture you got in front of you to really what sort of tool you use um, that's it please subscribe my YouTube check out my website leave comments anywhere you want got any problems send me an email and I'll do my best to help take it easy guys and girls Alibaba checking out from sunny Thailand